Good day, good day, and welcome back to Eternal Hour, Golden Hour. Now, we're still speaking to plants, I guess. Or is it a sandwich? Speaking of plants, I'm gonna have to give this one away. Worrying about plants is just adding stress right now. What about that one? To be honest, I want to change more than that around here. But I can't do anything drastic. Not until Yasu tells me what's on his mind. Picture. <laughs> yes, child. Do tell me. I won't bite. Not at all. Of course, none of that really matters if I don't find a job soon. Yeah, employment might be uh, a thing to get done. I'll leave that to you. Okay. Who the heck could that be? Good morning, Rin. Mind if I come in? You're already in, so I don't have any say in the matter, do I? I mean, you did ask as you did it, so... Had you made a reply? Sure, you're already in anyway? Oh, Megumi. Um, yes, please, come in. I figured, since it's been about a week, I should come to see how you're doing. Well, you didn't wait at the door, unless you did. And that's just how you were presented on screen. But if you didn't, then maybe you might need to learn that. Has Yasu left for school already? Yes. He has. He left with this cute girl. Ah, oh, what was her name? Naoko? Yes, that's her. Naoko tagged along with Yasu and they left for school together. Apparently, they're friends with some other kids. Daisuke and Katashi, probably. Yes, I'll remember that. The three of them visited Yasu a lot at the orphanage. Good for them. I'm glad he's got some friends with him. I walked him to school the first couple of days, but... Is something wrong? That one seems a bit more friendly. That just seems a bit rude. I'm worried about Yasu. He still won't talk to me. He only speaks up when he has to. This morning he left without a word. Half of the time he mumbles his reply, so I can barely understand them. He hasn't gotten used to you yet. He was very quiet at the orphanage, but I still hoped he would open up to his guardian after a while. Thank you for the help. That only makes me worry more. What happened must have affected him deeply. Must have. Poor Yasu. He might be having a hard time understanding that his parents aren't coming back. He might. I can understand that. I still can't believe they're gone either. I keep waking up at night, expecting another email to show up from Akio. He would always complain about the problematic children at school, and how they would always find new solutions to their everyday life. They were both teachers, right? Yes. Very good ones. They always told me how they couldn't wait until Yasu was old enough to be one of their students. I'm sorry to make you remember all of that. I'm only making you sad. Nah, they're happy memories. What makes you think that? Is that aren't helping or are helping? You are helping, Megumi. I am? Yes. I... I really wanted to talk with someone about this. Thank you. Oh, um, you're welcome. <laughs> so, how about we go out for a while? Sure, why not? Wait, what? Well, it's been a week. But you look like you've been spending a lot of time inside, taking care of Yasu. What makes you think of that? It would be good to get some fresh air and explore the town. Might be a thing to do. Well, I mean, 
I have spent a lot of time inside since I arrived, but I used to live here six years ago. Really? Have you not visited Tokyo since then? Not really. I always met Akio around the hot springs in Hobuji. We used to spend a few days there having fun, so I haven't seen Tokyo since I left. Just as I suspected. That won't do. Come on. What's with that face? Hey, wait, what? You promised to help me buy a cell phone, right? Can I? I can't remember. Let's relax for a while and go shopping. Okay, no dialogue. Whoa. Geez, she's insistent. She really gave me time to grab my bag and now she's pushing me out the door. Is that why we're zooming in? She is right though. It would really help help me to get out for a while. Well, now that yes, she is at school, we can explore the streets of Tokyo. Yes, that'll clear your head. Megumi excitedly pulls on my hand and guides me through a few streets I used to know well. Some of them look just like they did back back then, but most have changed completely. Gone is the tiny cafe I used to frequent as a child, placed now by a large restaurant. The bookstore where I used to buy a manga is still there, but I can barely recognize it now. We have a slew of new displays showcasing portable music players and headphones. The storefront seems to have travelled 20 years into the future. The air is cool and refreshing as we walk together through the shopping district. That's a shopping district. I see Megumi smiling beside me as she watches my mixed reactions to these streets that are both nostalgic and unfamiliar. So... What? I didn't do anything. Okay, you're proving your point. I feel like I'm lost in a new world. I knew it. You should have asked me to show you around much earlier. Did you see anywhere you wanted to go? I'll tell you about anything you're interested in. Why do you have your arm raised like that? What's with that pose? Um... What's that place with the dragon logo? That's the Okopoko Cafe. It's a new cafe opened by some Canadian folks. They serve North American dishes along with traditional ones. Good for them. I love their bannock. A bannock? Is that how you pronounce it? Bannock, bannock. By the way. Wait a second. What is a bannock? I don't know. It's a kind of flatbread, but they make theirs with raisins and a honey glaze. It tastes like rainbows and butterflies. You've tasted rainbows and butterflies? I don't mean to ask, but how do you know what that tastes like? It looks like Megumi loves talking about food. Whoa, the old bakery is still where it used to be. Are they still selling melon pan? Oh, yes. Oh, their chocolate chip melon pan is the best. And their muffins. Oh. I have to say, you seem to have quite an acquired taste for local delicacies. And butterflies. And rainbows. Still not sure how you'd eat them. I mean, you'd cook butterflies in that, but rainbows? Not sure about that. Of course. You need food to live. Plus they make really tasty treats all over Tokyo. Living is a positive, I guess. Can't hurt to live. What about you, Rin? You don't indulge in eating sweets sometimes? Hmm. Once in a while or not that much, it's the same thing. Once in a while. I like something sweet once in a while. Same thing, really. Didn't, there wasn't much of a choice there. 
Whoa, we should have lunch together sometime. Sure. I'll show you all the best food around here, and you can tell me all about the tastiest trees from Kumiora. Why do you keep going further back into the background and then jumping forward all the time? And she's gone. The Gooby seems much friendlier than before. I feel sorry for being so guarded with her before. How is that being so guarded? I don't know. When she's not mad at you, she's quite nice. Really? When someone's not mad at you, they're nice? Yeah, I think that might be the case. It feels refreshing to see a smile and dawn all around as we travel through the snug streets of Tokyo. So many new places have opened up in the few years I've been away. And there's a white screen. Hey, Megumi. That boutique over there. Over where? The shop with the mannequins in the window. That seems like a new shop. Ah, yes. The owners thought it was time to bring more cute fashion to Tokyo. Well, by the looks of it. Unfortunately, some people are complaining about it. Are they? Well, I haven't heard any yet. Complaining? About what? Some of the older and more established citizens feel that mannequins in shop windows are obscene. What? Would you there? Not sure about what that's about. I don't quite understand either. The people here can be pretty stubborn. You don't say. The city might force a shop to move the display away from the windows. Oh, I've got to say this one. That's pretty sad. This brings back memories of when I left Tokyo. I've got no problem with conservative people in general, but... This is exactly the kind of thinking that drove me away from this town in the first place. Grin, are you okay? Totally fine. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I got lost in my thoughts for a second there. Do you need a map? That's odd. You're sure you're okay? How would you know if it's odd? You haven't been around her long enough to know what her usual patterns are. Wait, have you been stalking her for a week, just peering through the windows and all that? That'd be creepy. Yes, absolutely! How about we visit a place to help you find that cell phone? That sounds great! Change the subject pretty easily there. To start... How much do you know about cell phones? They have snake on them? Not much. I just know that it's a phone you can carry around with you. So besides being a dead weight, what else do you know about them? There's a lot more to them, actually. I'll explain when we find some place to buy one. Okay. Off we go. We continue talking about phones for a good while, before we eventually found a place that sells them, so we can get the phones. Yes, that would be a good idea. It's really fun helping him pick out the right one, and showing her how it works. I've never seen someone get so excited about buying a phone before. Megumi looks so thrilled that we can send messages to each other from time to time. Now she won't have to... ever be alone. We exchange phone numbers and spend the rest of the day together, exploring the city, looking for something, but not knowing what. How about that map I mentioned earlier? That can help. I have so much fun, I even managed to forget all my troubles for the first time in weeks. Mugumi and I... We've become great friends in no time at all. That was quick. I was gonna say hi, sandwich. But it went. Oh, you're going back through 
the memories of that day. Last that day, time seems to pass faster than before. I've been making small bits of progress every day, but life still hasn't settled down quite yet. It's been over a month since I moved back to Tokyo. Time skip. Everything feels better now. I started remembering the fun times I have once had here, and I sometimes tell Yasu stories about those. Yasu started speaking more and more, and now we're slowly becoming a family. Yay. We even watched a TV show together last night. Well, you've had it marked, so you should be able to get somewhere. If I remember correctly, it was some cute anime about a boy who turns into a frog. Well, that's a bit different. I can't help but emphasize that with that... Not emphasize with that boy. I can't help but empathize with that boy. And I really wish I could do more to be a better guardian. Going from defending people in court to being a single mother, all while looking cool on my motorcycle. It doesn't matter how I say it, it still feels funny to think that some kid depends on me. It seems it can happen even to someone like me, who's never even had a boyfriend. It's pretty sad that I look like a freeloader with no job, no income, nothing. The money will eventually run out and I have to take care of Yasu somehow. I don't even know if I can practice more in a backwards town like this. Even with the hardship, Megumi has been a lifesaver. You meet nearly every day now. Now she doesn't have to stalk you. She can just see you as a friend. Sometimes I wonder what my real feelings are, especially when it comes to Megumi. I meet up with Megumi at the orphanage and we walk to a nice spot. She knows by a lake for a picnic lunch. I'd want to save that in one go. Even with my life being so close to falling apart, the good weather and delicious meal with a good friend had done wonders for my mood. It's days like this that I live for now when I can't, can just forget the rest of the world and enjoy the moment. Can they take over now? And ever since, Thank little you. Hikaru's been showing up to play with the orphans. Okay, we just entered that conversation halfway through. Or partway through. Wow. She's a great kid. Yes, this kid I don't know anything about. I know lots of these kids. Yep. Okay. So, Rin. I did nothing. That's odd, it's rare that I notice Megumi hesitating. What is it, Megumi? And with that, that's all the time I've got for this episode. Put on a little cliffhanger. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you enjoy what I do, subscribe. With all that said, be sure to tune in next time. Cheerio!